Eventually, I made my way towards my boarding gate. Am I the only person that sits at the boarding gate hours before the flight time? <laughs> anyway, another South African passport seated himself about two seats away from me. I, of course, approached him and made him my first South African friend traveling to South Korea as an English teacher. Home had found me once more. We took off into the rain. It was a little bumpy, but nothing compared to a few hours later when the plane lights went off and the very stoic Korean lady sitting next to me grabbed my hand as I latched onto the armrest and the plane started falling. I shut my eyes and counted. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. When I sank back into my seat and all I could hear was my heartbeat. The woman said something next to me, but my eyes darted to my South African friend who peeked over his seat back at me. He gave me a thumbs up, checking if I was okay. And I did the same. We smiled, exchanged some good vibes and settled. The sun started coming up and we were flying so close to the ocean. I could see little mountains peeking out of the water ships and even boats. I realize now those mountains were not so little. There were entire land masses underneath there. But those mountains peeking out of the shimmering water that was so calm was my quiet after the storm.